I have my hat, I have my backpack, and I'm all dressed up. It's time for another collection caper here on Hubnut. <laughs> and I'm currently waiting for my taxi to arrive. Uh, the taxi is taking the form of a Mitsubishi Delica, which I'll be travelling to Bristol in. And then from Bristol I'm overnighting and then in the morning heading to Bath, which is where my new car is. Which is a Vauxhall Omega Elite Turbo Diesel Automatic Estate. Top of the range, BMW 6 cylinder diesel engine. Should be quite nice. Hasn't been on the road for about 18 months. I do know it runs and drives and I'm taking it to an MOT tomorrow afternoon hoping it passes and then hoping I can drive it home. This one's going to be fun. That wrong. Apparently we're not going in a Delica. We're going in a Mark III Golf that's almost pink. Hurrah! So we've reached Bristol in the um, Volkswagen Golf of Doom and um, the driver has disappeared. As you can see, he needs to buy a shirt for tonight's gig because he forgot his shirt. But um, it's okay, as long as no one tells anyone, he won't be embarrassed by it. So this is glamorous Bristol, or rather this is Filton, which is quite close to Bristol. And um, I shall be staying in a stranger's house using Airbnb tonight. And then tomorrow the caper truly begins. Day two of the collection caper, and um, I'm sat here in my Airbnb, um, waiting for the um, time to march on. So um, the the chap selling the car is going to pick me up from here and then we're going to go see what it's like and take it for an MOT. What could possibly go wrong? There we go. Right, let's go in for a closer look. <laughs> here we go then. First startup. Just wait for those glow plugs. Smooth. Exhaust leak, that'll need welding up. Pot of weld should sort that out, I think. Oh, it's not warm yet. Sounds good though. Sod's law, as soon as the camera's on, it's fine. Right, let's get the bonnet over. There in the middle. There we go. The BMW M51 six cylinder diesel. There is a definite smell of diesel under here. Uh, we'll just have a poke around and see if we can find where that's coming from. And the struts aren't doing their job. So the pump is buried under here and I don't know if you can see that but it does look damp so it does look like we've got some oil seepage there possibly from the gasket that runs along the top. There's also a bit of engine oil there as well so certainly a few things to be looking at on this one but look at that lovely cooling that looks perfect. I can't see it dropping anything, so that's encouraging. Uh, rear arches, it still has them. Starting to go in the usual way. That looks like it can be cleaned up though, without too much effort. And this is the passenger side arch. Also looking 
like there might actually be metal underneath the plastic. I've got some rot in the rear doors. I'll get some Vactan on that, try and treat them. Right, let's have our first slightly illicit drive around the block just to make sure we think this is going to be alright. Meaty BMW 6 under engine, I think I'm going to like that. So we're in Bath, which is obviously very nice. I hope you'll be able to see some of the houses in the background. Oh, clag. Oh dear, sorry. <laughs> Sorry Mr. Motorcyclist, this car hasn't had the engine open like that for a while. It's been ticking over on the driveway for a bit. And I, I've just dumped a load of clag over that poor motorcyclist. Ooh. Yeah, it does pick up nicely. Not overly quick, but probably about as quick as you'd want. And um, braking hard to try and clean the brake discs up. But the beauty of an automatic is I can do a bit of left foot braking so I can clean the brakes up as I drive along. Here we go then. We've managed to get in for an earlier MOT slot because um, I was faced with having to wait till half past two. Um, but uh, we're going in straight away. Uh, I think we've probably got about a 20, 30 minute drive. Gives me a chance to get it really up to temperature. Just put the air conditioning on because it's a bit cool in here, and maybe my heated seats. And um, yeah, and we can hopefully drive back to Wales. Oh, I'm quite excited. So Adrian, who I've just bought the car off, um, he actually had this car from brand new, and it was his specified company car and uh, finally that car arrived so we used it as a company car for several years but then when it came to the end of that he liked it so much he bought it and kept it and um, his company car became his private car and I can understand why there's a lot to like about these Omegas not least that lovely six cylinder noise from that BMW engine and I know he's used it to tow boats and caravans with, so it, it's had some use over the years. The um, millometer says 171,000 miles, but that's actually a replacement with 50,000 extra miles on it. So it's actually only done 120,000 miles. So hopefully there's plenty of life in the old girl yet. Sounds like it's a nice smooth gearbox so far going uphill which is why it's holding the revs a bit. Yeah maybe I should put my headlamps on, there we go. Whoa, claggy! Brilliant. Give it an Italian tune-up before the MOT. So we know he's going to fail the MOT because um, as a bare minimum there's a huge ruddy great hole in the exhaust quite near the tailpipe end. Uh, I'm hoping the rest of that pipe is good enough to actually weld to, um, otherwise we could try wrapping it. There's a few bodge solutions just to get me home until I can get a new pipe, because I'm not sure we're going to find a new pipe for this car today, but we've got enough time to play with it. It's a disaster. The heated seats aren't working. Well, this one isn't. It's a good job I'm wearing two pairs of trousers. For the benefit of our forum viewers, I should point out that what I'm doing is entirely legal. Um, I'm driving a car that has no tax and no MOT. Um, but it's okay, because I'm driving to a pre-booked MOT test. Uh, or an authorised place of repair. So um, if your car failed the MOT and you don't have to take it somewhere to be repaired, that's okay, you can do that. 
other countries, um, Czech Republic being one of them, one of my video followers said, you have to trader it to a test if there's no MOT. So we really are quite lucky in this country. Well, I must concede that hasn't gone all that well. Uh, we went for an MOT and what we got was refusal. No MOT for me. Um, problems are cracked rear spring, which is the one just behind me, um, the offside rear, a diesel leak, which I knew about, and got worse when they turned the engine off, unusually, and uh, a hole in the exhaust, which we, we knew was going to fail on that. So I'm now a bit stuffed because I don't feel I can really chance it on driving all the way back to Wales with the car in that condition. It is leaking diesel. Not very much, but it is definitely leaking. That's now showing up on the computerized MOT system as something it does. As is the crack spring. So if I got stopped by the police, they might go, well, why are you driving so far in a car which is so knackered? Uh, I have managed to find a, find a chap who offered his services before the caper began, uh, but he's in Wiltshire. So I'm going to drive to Wiltshire, which is an awful lot closer from Wales. Um, a half hour drive should be sufficient to get me there. And he's going to first of all look at the leak and we'll assess that and see whether something can be done about that. If it can then we'll order up a rear spring and get that fitted. But it doesn't look like I'm getting home tonight. So I'm currently driving along a private track, which is why I'm hand-holding the phone, um, following my mate Steve, who's leading me to his house, who's kindly offered me sustenance and warmth. Um, we've changed the rear spring today uh, at Mermaid Motor Services, and uh, that means I now have working rear suspension, which is good. Uh, still have the diesel leak, hoping to sort that tomorrow, uh, and get a bandage on the exhaust, and then hopefully it's MOT pass time. Let's see, eh? Ooh, cattle grid. Yeah. Yep, my new um, suspension spring. We'll be getting a great test on this road. More tomorrow.